We are here in, in the Iron Side training with Ryan Watson at the Downtown Powerhouse Gym. And Ryan, we are now watching you walk into the gym here. Um, you, this is this gym, Downtown Powerhouse Gym. Um, it's it's one of the best I've been in. Tell me a little bit about how you decided to start working here and training here. Um, dude, I can't really say enough about Powerhouse Gym, uh, Downtown Tampa. Um, it really starts with the owners, you know, the, uh, the energy and, uh, the love that the owners have, you know, for the bodybuilding community and high end fitness athletes, you know, and, you know, MMA guys and just, you know, fighters and everybody across the board. I mean, those guys just really cater to your really hardcore elite athletes, you know, and they, I mean, they really put their all into the design of the club and the equipment and they listen to every last little, you know, recommendation from the, uh, you know, the members there, and they just really take care of everybody, you know, it's, it trickles all the way down and makes everybody real happy about the club, you know? Absolutely. I, You know, me personally, they've been very welcoming to me and, and uh, us coming in and filming you and everybody else in there. They, like you said, they've got a lot of great athletes. Uh, they, and not just they, bodybuilders, they, 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 MMA, they wrestling. And, yeah. uh, pretty pretty unbelievable gym. The, the energy is, is incredible in there, and, and it makes for a good workout. Well, the energy is retarded, man. It's like you can always guarantee that the music's going to be hyped up and there's going to be people that are in insane shape walking around the gym. Dude, it's like the only gym I've ever belonged to where like 99% of the members are like in friggin' peak shape. I love it. Yeah, definitely. That definitely motivates you to do it. And, and you see guys like yourself. Now, you're, you're, everybody should know, you're a few weeks out. You're two weeks out from nationals, NPC nationals right here. And uh, obviously when you're, you know, two weeks out or even, even four weeks out for me, I start losing strength pretty close to the, pretty close to anything I'm getting ready for. Now you're doing 315 very easily here on incline. Uh, I even, I even talked to you into going up a little heavier next set. You do 365. Um, and, and you did that pretty good too. Now you are a big guy. You're a super heavyweight. What is your height and weight? Um, I'm, uh, I'm six foot two and offseason season I get up around, um, I try to let myself get too high, too much above like 290. Um, or else I start to get a little sloppy. And then I come down, like, right right here, I'm about 272. Um, probably step on stage somewhere around, like, you know, 255, 260. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, Ryan, one of the things, um, when you are when you are that heavy, when you're in the 290s, one of the things that I've heard, and uh, John Hansen, um, I guess you'd say he's the natural Mr. Olympia for many years, and he's still a bodybuilder yep. competing, trains at the gym. He told me a story. Oh, yeah. yeah, he told me a funny story about you pressing the 200-pound dumbbells and, him uh him spotting you tell us that story yeah man well basically i was all cranked up man and uh having a great you know chest workout and so i was feeling strong and so i just got to shoot my wad man try to go for the two hundos and i pulled out my clip cam and uh you know i wanted the closest person around you know to shoot it and it, and it happened to be john so i was all excited man and i cranked out i think like seven reps to the two with the two hundreds and uh i throw the dumbbells down all hyped up and I want to go look at the clip, man, and he freaking never turned it on. <laughs> it's so so uh, I was kind of bummed out, man. I had a good set there. It's probably the strongest I'd ever done on dumbbell presses. And uh, I thought I had it on tape, but, uh, you know, that's all right. You know, I'm sure uh, John will be around to help me out again sometime. So. Yeah, absolutely. John's, John's a great guy, and I know he told me that oh, story. because super guy, and I wish him the best uh, next weekend at his show there. Yeah. And uh, he's looking great, and he's been filming a uh, great workout video with Rick Schaaf from the gym the past two weeks. So um, he should have a good product there. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, he uh, he is a good guy, and he he was mortified by that story. So uh, you know, I'm sure he will definitely <laughs> he will jump at the opportunity to do it again and do it right this time. I know. That's cool, man. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, we that's one thing about the gym that's so cool, man. Is everybody's really. Uh, you know, you love to help each other out, man. Always, it's one of those gyms that you're glad to spot other people, you know, and people help you, like, you know, get get the weights for you, you know, and it's just like everybody goes above and beyond that kind of help each other, you know, get the extra push. Right. Well, right now we were watching Ryan do uh, the flies, flat flies with the 110s. You did uh, two other sets. What is the strategy behind, uh, you just started with the incline bar, and I noticed you went to your heavy set, then you came down one. Now, on flies, you're doing this fly motion, and you're, you're doing, it looks like you're about to do a drop set, 110s, and then move down. Yeah, you know, I, I typically, you know, especially come contest, man, it's like you can't back off the weights. Like, even though you do feel weaker, you know, the, if you start training too light, man, you're going to just like, start losing just as much muscle as you do fat, you know. So, 
I mean, the weight might not be as what you're accustomed to lifting, but you still got to go heavy and give yourself, you know, give that ball down intensity. Well, you definitely. Um, you know, chest happens to be one of my stronger, um, you know, areas. So, you know, usually my poundages are pretty good. Now, it used to be actually a lot better before I had neck surgery. You know, I, I was pressing up to around 550 on the flat bench. and But uh, my strength has come back. Just rebounded pretty good, um, you know, after my neck surgery. So let's, I feel pretty good. Let's talk about that for a second, Ryan. Uh, now, one of the things people might not know about you is you played uh, pro football for a few years, and you had to stop due to the neck surgery. Yeah, basically, um, you know, I, I played a full, you know, career, and, and I was on my second year in the NFL with the Falcons, and uh, I started suffering a lot of neurological problems, you know, with my, you know, arm and my neck, and I started getting a lot of stingers every time I'd make contact with somebody, you know, and it uh, pretty much took me to the point where I couldn't, I make contact anymore because my yeah, my arm would just stop working, you know. So uh, it wasn't until about six months after I had to hang up my cleats that I found I had a large bone tumor in my spine. You know, so that, and then for, you know, three months after my diagnosis, I didn't even know if I had cancer or not because they couldn't tell me if it was benign or not. You know, so I had a, I went to Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore and, uh, you know, thank God I went to probably one of the best surgeons in the world and he resected the tumor out of my neck and he placed rods and, uh, two titanium rods that hold my neck together. I got a five level fusion, so. You know, it helped me out of training for a little bit, man. But you know, I rebounded. I, 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 I can't. I swear, I can't even feel anymore, man. I don't even remember. You know, so I feel great, and it's all due to training, man. Just getting back into the groove, and you know, training hard and intense, but with great form. You know, and uh, taking care of your body, stretching, and staying hydrated, and just eating clean. You know, I'm, I, I swear, man. I've had that, and I had a major hernia surgery, and both of those barely even made me miss a beat. Now, what did um? The, the, obviously, that's a very serious surgery. Um, both of them, really. But the uh, the tumor one. I mean, that's a big deal. How does it? It doesn't affect your training at all now. You can still squat everything. Dude, I I can still I can put that metal bar on, on my metal rods in my neck, and I'm good to go. Huh? Unbelievable. Yeah, man. I, I thought you know it's like one of those things. I I I, I try not to even dwell on. It. I think about it. You know, you can't. A lot of people like to use their injuries as a crutch later in life, saying I can't do this and can't do that. You know, because I blew up my knee or my back hurts, man. I, I think that's all bogus, man. I think it's all in the mind. You know, I think your your mind is the most powerful thing you got, and you can overcome anything, man. You know, if, if you're having, if you got an injury, if your person out there dealing with an injury and you're suffering from it, you're not getting better from it, you need to seek some professional help, you know, so you can get back on the right track and get your life back and get your health back. I, I actually, I'm a big believer in that, that the, 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 the mind is the strongest thing. And, and, I, and I think that definitely having a strong mind obviously helped you overcome all these injuries. Because I think, like you said, if you get bogged down thinking, oh, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're going to be hurt no matter what. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You can choose either let it defeat you or you can defeat it, you know? Right. Um, uh, Ryan, you're doing something interesting here. You're doing a, 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 it seems like a giant set. You started out with the flies and the cable machine. As soon as you're done, you're coming over and doing these weighted dips with the chains, and now you're doing push-ups. Tell us a little about this. Um, basically, you know, towards the end of the workout, man, I uh, try to back off the weight, and I try to focus a lot more on uh, bringing my rest periods down and focus a lot more on the squeezes and the contractions of the reps. You know, I'm trying to etch in a lot more detail and striations. You know, I try to – I usually use this kind of uh, method, you know, pretty much for all my body parts. So I'll start out. You know, the initial phase of the workout with, uh, you know, one or two, like, heavy, heavy compound movements, and I'll keep my volume up, usually around between four and six, four and seven sets on a heavy compound movement, pyramiding up and pyramiding down a weight. And then towards the end of the workout, then I'll throw in some uh, giant sets, you know, where I'll, you know, mix, you know, three more detailed movements together, you know, and I kind of just focus on the, the, the contractions and the stretches and whatnot and keep my rest period down so I, I'm just – really forcing a lot of blood and lactic acid into the muscle and not letting it really um, recover. So um, there's more ways to, uh, than one to skin a cat. You know, you don't always have to be lifting heavy weights, you know, and, you know, tearing down your body and your joints. You know, this is a giant. This is a great way for me to, you know, really, um, you know, great, build a lot of great detail as well as, you know, um, get the heart rate up. You know, that way I'm kind of melting fat the whole time I'm training. Absolutely. Now, one of the things, Ryan, is that you are you are not just a trainer there. You train, obviously, you train a bunch of clients. You're one of the busiest trainers at Tampa Bay Powerhouse Gym. Um, but uh, you also train with Ben Bukowski. Yeah, um, Ben, you know, we we instantly clicked. The second he, oh, I met him at the gym, we just got along. He's one of the only guys I can really talk a little scientific with. You know, we, we both are very passionate about training and about supplements and whatnot. And, 
he's really taking my training to the next level. Just uh, like I said, he's there every single day right on time and uh, pushes me to the absolute limits. He doesn't back off, especially I'm two weeks out and he's still trying to murder me in the gym, you know, and so I told him I was going to be right back there to repay him the favor, you know, when he's getting ready for his shows, Flex Pro and the Arnold coming up. So, um, you know, I look forward to seeing that guy getting, you know, shredded and get ready for the stage. But I can't say enough about Ben Bukowski. He's a great guy and a great friend and been a gr- an awesome training partner. Absolutely. Well, Ryan, thank you very much for coming on uh, the, in that Iron Asylum training with us here at RX Muscle. If anybody wants to reach you, Ryan, how would they get in touch with you? Um, basically, I, I just uh, launched a, a brand new website and, uh, it's selling a lot of, uh, you know, my services as well as some uh, awesome new DVDs I've just produced. And that's at RyanWatsonFitness.com. You can reach me there. Um, you know, I'm going to have a lot of my videos, and I'm going to start doing video blogs and whatnot. So it's, uh, I'm looking forward to getting that launched and really working on that in my off season. Well, thank you very much, Ryan. I appreciate it. And uh, we will follow you to Nationals, and I'm sure you'll be seeing more of Ryan Watson on RxMuscle.com. Aaron, thank you very much, man. I appreciate your time. Of course. Hold it. Squeeze it hard, man. Looks great. Hold it. Keep those lats. Yeah, dude. Lats spread. Keep the hamstring. There it is. Hold it. Hamstring. Yep. You go bigger than that, man. You get, let's go. Wide. That's it. Nice. Better, better. Push that lower lat first. Oh, it's there it is, dude. Side try. Stay tight right now. Stay tight right now. There we go. Keep it in. Yeah, dude. Hit those obliques. Let me see it. Let me see it. Yep. Glute. Glute. Get it. Yep. One more backpack. Huh? Need more backpack on that on that post. See up there it is. Good. Yep. Uh, most muscular. Legs hard. Yeah. Abs, abs, abs first. Still a little wider on your crab. Do it again. 